Whoa! Because I was that. All right. Oh, really? For months. I, every time I set it on there, it takes me about 15 minutes to get to charge. Yeah. There you go. What do you know? I was. I, I had directions out. These batteries are forever. There's no battery. Right, yeah. All right, I think we got it. I think it's, whoops. First thing I did was I dropped my book. That's been going on for months. I've been Ugh. trying to figure out I've why gotten, I'm thinking it turned red right away. And it's supposed to. Yeah. Okay, I, I okay. Really good at it. I really good at it. Place it on and like, go back and forth until it's going to dry. Lori sent me this. Okay. Thanks, I played the fiddle in there. I'm going to fly learning all the songs. All right, I think it's working. Really? I dropped the book. The first thing I did was drop something. <laughs> All right. Tell your sisters. You're welcome to sing along or clap or sing in your heart. Is that what the new priest says? Okay. As I was going over the far famed Carrick Mountains, met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced my pistol and I then produced my rapier. Say stand and deliver for you are a bold deceiver, a shuring dum a doo dum a da. Whack for the daddy-o, whack for the daddy-o, there's whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. And I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. But the devil take the women for they never can be easy. Mush a ring, dum a doo dum a da Whack for the daddy-o. Back for the daddy oh, there's whiskey in the jar. I went into my chamber, all for to take a slumber. I dreamt of golden jewels, and for sure it was no wonder. But Jenny drew my charges, and she filled them out with water, and sent for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. Mushering the a doo da da Back for the daddy oh, back for the daddy oh, there's whiskey in the was early in the morning, just before I rose to travel. Up comes a band of footmen, and likewise Captain Farrell. I first released my pistol, for she'd stolen away my rapier. But I couldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken. Mushering the madu da ma da Whack for the daddy-o, whack for the daddy-o, there's whiskey in the jar. Now there's some that take to lying in. Carriages are rolling, and others take delight in the hurling and the polling. But I take delight in the juice of the barley, and courting pretty fair maids in the morning, bright and early. Mushering, dum a doo dum a da. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. And if anyone can aid me, it's my brother in the army. I can find a station in Cork or in Killarney And if he'll go with me, he will go roving in Kilkenny I'm sure he'll treat me better than my old sporting Jenny Mushering, dum a doo dum a da Whack for the daddy-o Whack for the daddy-o There's whiskey in the jar I'm Mushering, dum a doo dum a da Whack for the daddy-o Whack for the daddy-o There's whiskey in the jar Oh, Liffy doesn't know what's going on. The dog's distressed. Cayman's are in the house. Excellent. Hello, Caymans. <laughs> Jim Schumacher says, who's Jenny and most importantly, does Jamie know? <laughs> I've also had requests for Wonderwall and Freebird, which will not be uh, honored, unfortunately. All right. This is kind of fun. 
All right. My love by the gasworks wall dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall, dirty old town, dirty old. Drifting across the moon Cats are prowling on their beats Springs a girl on the streets at night Dirty old town Dirty old town a siren from the docks I saw a train that set the night on fire and I smelled the spring on the smoky winds dirty old town dirty old town Gonna make me a big sharp axe Shining steel Tempered in the fire And I'll chop you down Like an old dead tree Dirty old town old town I met my love by the gas yard wall dreamed a dream by the old canal I kissed my girl by the factory wall Dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town. I thought Liffy excused herself from it, now she's just staring at me. She's staring me right in the eye. Okay. This is a, um, a, a sing-along one, if, if you guys know it. If not, then you don't, and you will now. And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. All for me beer and tobacco. Well, I spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin. Now across the western ocean I must wander I'm sick in the head Cause I haven't been to bed Since first I came ashore with my plunder Well I've seen centipedes and snakes And my head is full of aches And I'll think and make a path away out yonder And it's all for me grog Me jolly jolly grog All for me beer and tobacco well, I spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin Far across the western ocean I must wander And where are my boots, me noggin noggin boots? They're all sold for beer and tobacco You see the 
soles were getting thin and the uppers were letting in and the heels are looking out for better weather and it's all for me grog me jolly jolly grog all for me beer and tobacco well i spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin far across the western ocean i must wander and where is me shirts me noggin noggin shirt it's all gone for beer and tobacco you see the sleeves they got worn out and the collar was turned about and the, she the tail is looking out for better weather and it's all for me grog me jolly jolly grog it's all for me beer and tobacco well i spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin far across the western ocean i must wander where is my wife, me noggin noggin wife? She's all gone for beer and tobacco. You see, her front it got worn out and her ass was kicked about. But I think she's looking out for better weather. And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. It's all for me beer and tobacco. Well, I spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin. Far across the western ocean I must wander And where is me bed, me noggin noggin bed It's all gone for beer and tobacco You see I sold it to the girls And the springs they got in twirls And the sheets are looking out for better weather And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog All for me beer and tobacco well, I spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin Far across the western ocean I must wander And it's all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog It's all for me beer and tobacco You see, I spent all my tin with the ladies drinking gin Now across the western ocean I must wander Gentleman, that song has a pretty serious drinking problem. He sells a lot of stuff. This is one of the two uh, topical songs I chose for tonight. Oh. Okay. It's not about anybody or anything in particular, but it's a little funny. And it's dedicated to Brit's Pub, which is opening next week. It's called A Pub With No Beer. Just a little bit... A lot of pubs with no beer this year. Well, it's lonesome away from your kindred and all By the campfire at night where the wild dingoes call but there's nothing so lonesome, so dull, or so drear Than to stand in the bar of a pub with no beer Now the publican's anxious for his quota to come There's a far away look on the face of a bum And the maid's gone all cranky, the cook's acting queer What a terrible place is a pub with no beer And a stockman rides up with his dye dusty throat He breasts up to the bar, pulls a wad from his coat But the smile on his face turns quickly to sneer When the barman says sadly, the pub's got no beer Then in comes a swagman all covered in flies He throws down his roll and wipes the sweat from his eyes but when he is told, he says, what's that I hear? I've walked 50 miles to a pub with no beer. There's a dog on the veranda for her master. She waits, but the boss is inside, drinking wine with his mates. Well, she hurries for cover, then grins. There's no place for a dog in a pub with no beer 
And there's old Billy Blacksmith for the first time in his life is going home sober to his darling wife. He walks into the kitchen, she says, you're early, my dear. And he breaks down and cries that the pub's got no beer. Well, it's lonesome away from your kindred and all by the campfire at night where the wild dingoes call. But there's nothing so lonesome, so dull, or so drear Than to stand at the bar of a pub with no beer Now there's nothing so lonesome, so dull, or so drear Than to stand in the bar of a pub with no beer I have to t uh, tune that three mm -hmm. octaves up Or no, not three octaves I have to move it three steps up to be able to sing those notes that Ronnie Drew sings. Oh, it's lonesome away from your kindred and all. He's got a quite a low voice. I'm being told to interact with my audience. <laughs> he, he smoked uh, at, at least that many. I don't really know how to interact that well. Okay. This song is f is uh, for the dog that just left the room. She's not going to hear it. That's okay. All right. Well, the little boats are gone From the breast of Anolifi And the ferryman is stranded in the quay Sure, the Dublin docks are dying And away life is gone but Molly, it's a part of you and me Where the strawberry beds steep down to the liffy You kissed away the worries from my brow I love you well today and I'll love you more tomorrow If you ever love me, Molly, love me now Cosmo says he's listening Thanks, Cosmo! Is the only job I knew it was hard, but never lonely, the Liffey Ferry made a man of me. Now it's gone without a whisper, forgotten even now. Sure it's over, Molly, over, can't you see? Where the strawberry beds steep down to the Liffey, you kissed away the worries from my brow. I love you well today, I love you more tomorrow. If you ever love me, Molly, love me. Jamie said it's a crime to sing this and not show Lippy. She's not in the room. Now I'll tend the yard, spend my days in talking. They'll hear whisper Charlie's on the dole. But Molly, we're still living, darling, we're still young. And that river never owned my heart and soul. Where the strawberry beds stick down to the Lippy. The worries from my brow I love you well today I love you more tomorrow If you ever love me, Molly, love me now Where the strawberry beds Deep down to the Liffey You kissed away the worries from my brow I love you well today I love you more tomorrow If you ever love me, Jamie, love me now if you ever love me, Jamie, love me now. If you ever love me, Jamie, love me now. <laughs> Liffy left the room. I, what can you do? Mo Molly Knapp says, thanks for the shout-out. <laughs>
You're, you're welcome, Molly. Thanks for joining us. About as Irish as you can get, the Knapp family. I need a bit of beer and a bit of water. Be your roadie. It'll be my rope. Wait, no, I've got. Okay, I've got it right here. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were need more. You have water. Yeah. Yeah. Water no, I've I got some right here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I thought you were gonna really just go hand it there. I'll definitely be sounding by, like Ronnie Drew at the end of the at the end of the shindig here. Paul McCartney plays a three-hour set, and he doesn't take one sip of water. I don't understand how he does that. Fifty years He's in the been business. Doing it his whole life. Fifty years in the business. I'm not doing Freebird. <laughs> Who keeps asking for Freebird? A lot of people are asking. I don't. Need, not doing Wonder Freebird. I'm not doing Wonderwall. And Liffy is not in the room. For those who keep asking about Liffy, she left. She was a little distressed. Um, she doesn't like being sung directly to. You. What's your face? Uh, just my name. Oh, she might not. I I can get you a link to send to her. She might not be able to see it because of the way that my account is. It might just be people that are friends with me. If she wants to add me really quick. I would accept her, but <laughs> I'm gonna pour myself another beer while we're sitting here. Patrick's taking a drop of the hard stuff. Yeah, and Cece said that she was watching too. I've had a request for Fairy Tale of New York. Oh, speaking of requests, I guess. Sure. I'll take that request when I'm done pouring this here. Anyone who's watching that doesn't know, Fairy Tale of New York is a Christmas song. And I don't play it very often. I didn't rehearse it. But when we were in Ireland two or three years ago, we went into a bar and there was a guy playing Fairy Tale New York and, he, and his words about Fairy Tale New York were, it's too feckin' good not to play all year round. So, with that in mind, I'll play Fairy Tale New York. You got another drop of the hard stuff down here. Do you want to join me for uh, the other part, Mom? No. no. I gotta figure out what key I want to sing it in because it's quite low. All right. It was Christmas Eve, babe, in the drunk tank. An old man said to me, I won't see another one. And then he sang a song, the rare old mountain dew. I turned my face away. to one I got a feeling this year's for me and you so happy Christmas well I love you baby I can see a better time when all our dreams come true they got cars big as bars they got rivers of gold Goes right through you, it's no place for the old. And you first took my hand on a cold Christmas Eve. You promised me Broadway was waiting for me. You were handsome, you were pretty, queen of New York City. When the band finished playing, they howled out for more. Sinatra was swinging, all the drunks they were singing. We kissed on the corner. This is what you get for not letting me rehearse this song. The boys of the NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. You're a bum, you're a punk, you're an old 
one slut and chunk I'm there almost dead on a trip in that bed You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap lousy faggot Happy Christmas, your ass, I pray God it's on last The boys in the NYPD choir were singing Go away, babe And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day Well, so could anyone You took my dreams from me When I first found you I kept them with me, babe Put them with my own Can't make it all alone I built my dreams around you The boys of the NYPD Singing, go away, babe, and the bells are ringing out for Christmas Day. Oh, the link. You know? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I've never done this before. Doesn't let me send a friend request. Ah, because we. Because you're not a friend. Tell it a friend, Dad, and then friend me. Okay. Look up Jim Burke, and then look up me. We're having some issues here because I didn't realize that my account is it. private. I've got distant relations. Just go off private. Yeah, just do that real quick. Hey, oh my goodness. Yeah, go to your settings and just turn off private. I'm going to try I'm going to try to do that really quick. Oh, how do I oh, I'm getting messages from people. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, friend of your cousin Bobby. Okay, good. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to try to quick make my account not private so that people can see this. I didn't think about that. Do you know how I do that? Person who doesn't have a Facebook. Okay. I'm not on Facebook. Account settings. I would just go to your settings. Settings and privacy. Oh, perhaps that may be the ticket. He might be That's the something. ticket. I respect the repurposing of the um, cardboard brick. I know. We Thanks. It was a good investment. We can never have those. We can never get rid of them. Have we yeah, still like 25 years. Yeah. Ago? I don't think we have all of them anymore. Oh no. So I have, no, but they're cool. No, they're not yeah. Especially some of the bigger ones. Those ones are easy to crush. Those okay, hang on here. Just because. Uh, it's not what I want. Especially the square ones, they're like frizzy. Okay, changed my settings. Jamie's making fun of me because I just got a job as a social media manager and I have never, I don't know how to make my Facebook not private. That's not part of my job. For anyone who might be seeing this who works with me now. That's not part of my job. All right. Babs Plunkett says she heard Debbie singing out. All right. That's good. Okay. So anyone should be able to add me now. If you add me, you will be able to see it. And I might have someone else take, take my phone so that they can accept requests. Um, hang on, I'll show you what the passcode is because I can never remember it. <laughs> Just say it on live, that's it, a good idea. It, okay. Dad? Dad. Ooh. Five, two, three, seven. Uh -huh. Just want me to get a piece of paper? Does that make sense? Yeah. Got it. I can always change it. Right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> we've got a lot of um, we got a lot of uh, compliments on your uh, harmony on fairy tale. Oh, yes, awesome. Babs Plunkett, I, I was just saying, uh, sends her regards, and thank you to the Williams family that's watching as well. 
Jameson cocktails. That sounds great. Okay. I know you guys know this one. I didn't know this one. I learned it last year for for the same shindig. Okay. In a neat little town they call Belfast Apprentice to trade I was bound And many an hour of sweet happiness Have I spent in that neat little town A sad misfortune came over me Which caused me to stray from the land Far away from my friends and relations Betrayed by the black velvet bands Her eyes they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band I took a stroll down Broadway Meaning not long for to say when who should I meet but this pretty fair maid Come a traipsin along the highway She was both fair and handsome Her neck it was just like a swan And her hair it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band Everybody! Her eyes they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land and her hair it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band I took a stroll with this pretty fair maid And a gentleman passing us by Well I knew she meant the undoing of him By the look in her roguish black eye Her gold watch she took from his pocket And she placed it right into my hand and the very next thing that I said was Bad cess to the black velvet bands Her eyes they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band Before the judge and the jury Next morning I had to appear The judge, he says to me Young man, your case it is proven clear We'll give you seven years penal servitude To be spent far away from the land Far away from your friends and relations Betrayed by the black velvet band Her eyes, they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band So come on you jolly young fellows A warning take it by me When you're out and about on the town Me lad, beware of those pretty colleens They'll feed you with strong drink my man, till you are unable to stand And the very next thing that you'll know is You've landed in Van Diemen's land Her eyes, they shone like diamonds Her neck, it was just like a swan And her hair, it hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band One more time Her eyes, they shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band That's a good one. That's a crowd pleaser. Okay.
can't flip the pages in my little book that you can't see. This is one of those great Irish um, storytelling songs. It's a, uh, it's a gentle, it's about a gentleman called Sir Robert McAlpine, as Ronnie Drew would say. And uh, um, I Ireland's biggest export is a word that starts with a P, and that is people, not potato. Mm. And uh, it, right around the time of World War II, they were exporting a lot of people to England. Is that my phone? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. So in, in uh, World War II, Ireland's exporting a lot of people. A lot of them went to Britain to help rebuild after the blitzes and the bombings in the UK. And a lot of them ended up working for this guy called Sir Robert McAlpine. And uh, as Ronnie Drew says, he got Ireland out of a lot of holes, but he put the Irish into a few as well. And this song has a nice prologue that sets everything up very nicely. It was in the year of 39, when the sky was full of lead, when Hitler was heading for Poland and Patty to Hollyhead. Come on, you printer laddies and you long-distance men. Don't ever work for McAlpine, uh, Wimpy, or John Lang. For you'll stand behind a mixer till your skin is turned to tan, and they'll say, good on you, Patty, and put a boat fare in your hand. Well, the crack is good in Cricklewood, and I wouldn't leave the crown With glasses flying and biddies crying, for Patty was coming to town Ah, oh, mother dear, I'm over here, and I never will come back What keeps me here is the rake of beer, the ladies, and the crack I was down the glen, came the Galpine's men With their shovels slung was in the pub and quarts of beer and now we're on the road again with McAlpine's view I stripped to the skin with a young man Flip way down upon the Isle of Grain With a horse face tools I knew the rule No money if you stop for rain McAlpine's God was a well-filled hod Your shoulders cut to bits and seared And woe to he went to look for tea with McAlpine's fusiliers. I remember the day that the barrow shade fell into a concrete stairs. What the horse face said him dead, but it wasn't what the rich call prayers. I'm a navvy sort, was a one retort that reached unto my ears. When the going is rough, well, you must be tough with McAlpine's fusing ears. I worked till the skin had had me bet with a Russian check and pole. On shuddering jams up at the hydro dams Or underneath the Thames in a hole I grabbed it hard and I got my card Many a ganger's fist across my ears Well, if you pride your life, don't join by Christ And if you pride your life, don't join by Christ with McAlpine's Fusilies. Yeah.
even capoed up this high, that song still has some notes that are very, very low that are very hard to hit. Okay. This is oft requested in this house. Wonderwall? Uh-oh. No. Patrick says it's one of the greatest songs ever written. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. And it's a sad one. Yes, it is. I can tell it's you. a sad one. It's a song about a lady named Grace Plunkett who um, was the, uh, for a very short time, the wife of one of the revolutionaries in Ireland in, uh, in the early part of the... 1916. 1916, thank you. Um, and uh, she was uh, briefly married to a man called Joseph Plunkett, who was one of the signatories of uh, what was the Irish Declaration of Independence from England, or Britain, I should say. And, uh, and because Britain was so close to Ireland, all the signatories of that document were rounded up and um, executed very, very quickly. Um, and Joseph Plunkett was one of them, but before he was killed, he was married to uh, his longtime um, love, Grace. And this song is, from his perspective, singing to the woman he was married to for only a few hours before he was put to death. As we gather in the chapel here in old Kilmainham jail, I think about these last few weeks. Oh, will they say we failed? From our school days, they have told us we must yearn for liberty. Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me oh grace just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger they'll take me out at dawn and i will die with all my love i'll place this wedding ring upon your face won't be time to share our love, so we must say goodbye. Now I know it's hard for you, my love, to ever understand the love I bear for these brave men, my love for this brave land. But when Parik called me to his side down in the GPO I had to leave my own sick bed to him I had to go Oh Grace just told me in your arms and let this moment linger he'll take me out at dawn and I will die With all my love, I'll place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, so we must say goodbye. Now as the dawn is breaking, my heart is breaking too. As I walk down on this May morning, my thoughts will be of you, and I'll write some words upon the wall so everyone will know I love so much that I could see his blood upon the rose. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. Take me out at dawn, and I will die. With all my love, I'll place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, so we must say goodbye. We'll do one more. 
more time. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. With all my love, I'll place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, so we must say goodbye. No, there won't be time to share our love, so we must say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you could hear, but everyone was singing in the room for that one. That's a good one. It's a sad one, but it's a good one. Babs Plunkett says, that's got to be our ancestor, but we don't claim her sad story. Be lucky if you were. That's pretty cool. Grace Plunkett herself died in like 1969 or something like that, so she lived quite a long life and she never married again. Just for uh, how young she was when that all happens. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and she has her own, she was at one point in her, herself put in Kilmainham Jail, right? And there's a cell yes. that's marked that has her name on it now when we took a tour there. If you're ever in Ireland, take a tour of Kilmainham Jail. It's well worth it. <laughs> If a bit sad. Whoops. I'm dropping things. <clears throat> this one's got one of those nonsense choruses that doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> and it's one of those ones that I had to cape away up here because Shane McGowan and Ronnie Drew have voices that are a bit like a gravel pit. Ah, but the grasses grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way. But give me enough of the rare old stuff that's made near Galway Bay. Come gougers all from Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim too. And we'll give them the sip, then we'll take a sip of the rare old Mountain Dew. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a little little dum bay. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a little dum bay. There's a neat little still at the foot of the hill where the smoke curls up to the sky. By the whiff and smell, you can plainly tell there's protein brew nearby. Heard fills the air with a perfume rare that betwixt both me and you. And it's home we'll go for a pint or a bowl or a bucket full of Mountain Dew. Skitty idle little dum, skitty idle little dum, skitty appetite little dum day. Skitty idle little dum, skitty idle little dum, skitty appetite little dum day. Now learned men who use the pen who have written your praises high are the rare protein from Ireland green that's made from wheat and rye. So away with your bills and you cure all those who you paid in Christian or Jew. And it's home will grow and grease your throat like a bucket full of Mountain Dew. Skitty idle little dum, skitty idle little dum. Where the grasses grow and the waters flow in a free and easy way, but give me enough for the rare old stuff that's made near Galway Bay. Come gougers all from Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim too. We'll give him the slip, then we take a sip of the rare old mountain dew. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a tidal little dum day. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a tidal little dum day. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a tidal little dum day. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a tidal little dum day. Skinny idle little dum, skinny idle little dum, skinny up a tidal little dum day. You got any requests? No. <laughs> to a Wonderwall. You just find one hitter and you just run. It's, is that your it's, life strategy? It's really funny. Sligo. Sligo. Jamie and I just watched a show that was set in Sligo. Jesus. 
Well, we'll get to another sad one then. I'm going to take just another drink before this. Because I've been working on this one and I'm a bit nervous. <clears throat> so this song is, may, uh, I thought about it a lot this summer as uh, Minneapolis went through what is perhaps one of the darkest chapters in its entire history. And um, it's about, uh, it's about Derry in, in, in North Ireland, which went through a long period of, 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 strife. of strife, troubles, if you will. Um, but it, it, it is such a touching song. It could be about any town. And it made me think of the town I love so well, which is the city of Minneapolis. This is for Minneapolis and any other troubled city at this time. <laughs> children and then train the dog and when times got tough there was just about enough but they saw it through without complaining for deep inside was a burning town I loved so well. There was music there in the dairy air, like a language that we all could understand. I remember the day that I earned my first pay. When I played in a small pickup band There I spent my youth And to tell you the truth I was sad to leave it all behind me For I learned about life And I found a wife in the town I loved so well But when I returned Oh my eyes how they burned To see how a town Could be brought to its knees By the armored cars And the bombed out bars and the gas that hangs on to every scene. Now the army's installed by that old gas 
junkyard wall And the damn barbed wire gets higher and higher With their tanks and their guns Oh my god, what have they done? To the town I love so well Now the music's gone But we still carry on For our spirits been bruised Never broken Oh, we'll not forget for our hearts are still set on tomorrow and peace once again. But what's done is done, and what's won is won. And who's lost is lost and gone forever. I can know. Pray for a bright brand new day in the town that I love so well. Thank you. I've been working on that one. I was just thinking that. Can you change her? A little something fun? A little clap along? We'll do a little clap along one now. Give a shout out to Joe in, in uh, North Carolina. All right, this one's for and Joe Kevin, in North and Carolina. And Kevin joined too. Oh, okay, it's Kevin. And Kevin Ke Burke. And <laughs> Kevin. Wild. Got a lot of Burks on here. That's <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> This song is almost stereotypical. It's so ubiquitous. Actually, I'll wait for one second here because we have a guest appearance by Liffy. I'm not sure I understand. Who's over here? You can't see her, but she's there. So, for those who asked, Liffy, ladies and gentlemen. Dad, could you, do it? Could you grab that cord and plug it back in for me? This one? Mm -hmm. one? To what? Over here. This right here. It, yep, it'll just be, it'll magnet and it'll, yeah. I'm the roadie. He's the roadie. I'm the I was waiting for Patrick, but I'm not going to anymore. Because he can hear me. I got people watching. I got things to do. I've been a wild rover for many a year. And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great store. And I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no. No nay, never, no more will I play the Wild Rover. No, never, no more. I went into an alehouse I used to frequent, and I told the landlady my money was spent. I asked her for credit, she answered me nay. Such a custom as yours I could have any day And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover No, never, no more I took out of my pocket ten sovereigns bright And the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight she said, I got whiskey and the wines of the best And the words that I told you were only in jest And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover No, never, no more I'll go home 
to my parents, confess what I've done And I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son And when they've caressed me as oft times before Well, I never will play the Wild Rover no more And it's no No, never, no more. One last time, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild rover? No, never. Liffy's too excited. She's sitting right here again. Hey, Liff. You should do uh, hey, Liff. the ferryman again. He's, he's a, hey, Liff. A good follow up to that one. All right, I've been told to do the ferryman one more time because Liffy's here now and she's causing trouble. As she is wont to do. All right, one more time with the ferryman. I know that might be it. I've been gone for an hour. I got stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> Dublin docks are dying, the way of life it's gone, but Molly, it's a part of you and me. Where the strawberry beds sneak down to the liffy, kissed away the worries from my brow. I love you well today, I'll love you more tomorrow, if you ever love me, Molly, love me now. It's the only job I knew, it was hard but never lonely. Liffy Ferry made a man of me Now it's gone without a whisper Forgotten even now Sure it's over Molly, over can't you see Where the strawberry beds Seek down to the Liffy This is the way the worries of my brow I love you well today I'll love you more tomorrow If you ever love me, Molly, love me now now I'll tend the yard, spend my days in talking, I'll hear some whisper charms on the door. Molly, we're still living, and Molly, we're still young, the river never owned my heart and soul. Where the strawberry beds sneak down to the Liffey, kissed away the worries from my brow. I love you well today, I love you more tomorrow. If you ever love me, Molly, love me. Where the strawberry beds sneak down to the Liffey, kiss away the worries of my brow. I love you well today, I love you more tomorrow. If you ever love me, Molly, love me now. If you ever love me, Molly, love me now. If you ever love me, Liffey, love me now. I'll do one more very short one just to, to wrap it up here. Any other classic ones? You got Unless you're missing one. You got something queued up? What's queued up? Are you, are you thinking of one? No. Okay. Okay. Then I probably hit them all. Yeah. Every Irish song ever, just now. Not bad. Oh, of all the money that ever I seen. Oh, wait, I'm playing this in the wrong key. Sorry. Yep. This is a crier. 
That's the last one. It's a parting glass. Oh, of all the money that ever I see, I've spent it in good company. And of all the harm that ever I've done, alas, it was to none but me. For all I've done, for want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Of all the comrades that ever I've had, I'm sorry for my going away. And of all the sweethearts that ever I had, they would wish but one more day to stay. But since it fell into my lot that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently raise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. That's all I got. Beautiful. That's all I got for you. Thank you to my in-studio audience. <laughs> and thank you to this lady right here, Nanny. For 101 years in America, she was the last one of our family to come over. And to all the Burks, the Duffies, the Beatties, the Connells, the O'Connells, the Spaldings, the Rockfords and all, and the Ramstacks and whoever else who uh, got us here to where we are today. Good night and joy be with you all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day.